Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we will show you how to bleed the cooling system on Mercedes W163. This is the ML class from 98 all the way until 2005. We will be demonstrating on ML320, stay with us, but uh, V6BA, the 435, and 350 should be very close procedure as well. Stay with us, we'll show you what you need to do. We have many videos guys, check out the channel. We did a transmission replacement, so we had to drain the system and uh, we have our coolant right here now that we are going to use okay everything's pre-mixed and what you need to do you need to open open the uh, you can see the coolant tank the reservoir over there okay and we are going to we are going to add some now okay you can see so start slowly adding some and we will show you what else you need to do to make sure that you bleed it right Okay, it will take it probably it's close to 10 quarts. It's pretty big uh, cooling system actually on those. So like almost 9 liters, something like that. So we're just going to go ahead, add some now. So we're getting our second bucket now and add a little bit more now. Okay, you can see the air coming out of the little holes here already. So uh, we will let it go down a little bit and we will add more. Okay, if you squeeze the holes here, ra uh, the upper radiator holes, that will help. More air will come out and then we will we'll add even more. Uh, we don't have the fan on, we're doing many repairs on that thing, but uh, we'll be installing it in a little bit. You don't need to remove the fan or anything like that, it's just that we did other repairs. Okay guys, so we still adding more. It's gonna take you a while because uh, a trapped air, by the time it comes out, you need to put more coolant. You can see, so we got all of the coolant that we have. Okay, so next thing that we need to do, uh, after you're done adding and you don't see any more bubbles inside, you need to leave the cap open there. Do not drive the car, okay? What you need to do, you need to go inside you need to start it and just let it idle, but again, do not drive it, okay? And one more thing that you need to do, you need to turn the heater all the way on high, okay, like that. The fan needs to be on and all the way on high. That way, the coolant will circulate through to the heating core here in the dash. Okay, guys, you can see now all the air coming out of there now. Okay, that's what it needs to be, so it's gonna take a little bit more now. Hopefully you can hear me, it's pretty loud engine. Okay, you can see it's pumping air out now. We have a little bit of smoke because we did a transmission replacement, so we spilled oil on the, on the exhaust. Okay, transmission oil, so if you see a little bit of smoke, don't freak out. <laughs> okay, we are empty, so that will be all. So what you need to do now, guys, you need to leave it open like that, don't, don't close it. You need to go inside, you need to let it idle and don't do that inside your shop unless you have all the doors open. And you need to let it idle until the thermostat opens, which will be above 80, probably close to 90 degrees, I think. So uh, you need to make sure that you let it idle, warms up all the way and let it circulate at least once or twice okay that way you know you have nowhere and you'll be ready to drive but you need to check the level one more time and when you drive it that day next morning check the level again because there, it's still there is a possibility that there is air in the system somewhere and you just got out so hopefully the video was helpful guys please subscribe let's grow the channel together and see you next time